Now another design element, we have a set of stairs that come right down alongside the basement wall, the exterior wall there. And uh, your, your basement steps may or may not be coming in this way. But uh, what we did was, and we do this on most basements, we created a doorway. You can see we framed out for a future 24 inch door there um, to a closet that's going to be underneath the stairs here. So all this space underneath the steps here uh, will be finished out nice inside this closet door here with drywall and it creates a nice little space a uh, nice little closet space for whatever you want to store in there so we utilize that dead space underneath the stairs and on that same wall we also decided to open up our stairway back to the beginning of the fifth step okay uh, we take it up five steps and we've um, opened up the wall we're gonna have a banister rail assembly at the bottom of the stairs right there uh, instead of running that full wall all the way across and down to the end of the steps, creating like a hallway effect, you see we only have about 36 inches over here in the corner of space. So to just to make that area more open and airy and also to uh, give us some more turning radius for things that we're bringing down the stairs, we've decided to open that up and uh, we'll put a banister rail assembly right in there at the bottom of the stairs. And we'll uh, show you how we're going to be trimming that out later on. But... Uh, I, nine times out of ten, I'm opening up stairways. Uh, I'm not, not running complete full walls the whole way down to the end of the last step. I'm, I'm always opening up the stairways when I can uh, to uh, make it more open and airy and to give you more turning radius at the base of the stairs.